Morning, everyone. I'm Mercedes Wilson. And I'm Emily Lampa. We say this a lot here on AM Buffalo, yeah. and it bears repeating today. We are in this together, and yeah. together with you, Bill's Mafia, and much of the country, we are keeping Bill's safety, Damar Hamlin, in our hearts this morning. And Damar suffered a cardiac arrest following a hit in the game against the Bengals last night. He remains hospitalized this morning in critical condition. Yes, the nation is holding its breath and was holding his breath, uh, breath last night while tears flowed from the faces of his fellow players and the Buffalo Bills taking, to, taking a knee, praying for their brother. Yes. Fans in the stands and outside the hospital in Cincinnati joining in the call to prayer. Powerful prayer. Shot. Yeah. Something we know very well, powerful, and it brings us together. Yes. Yeah. On that note, thank you so much. Yes, and joining us this morning is senior servant at True Bethel Baptist. Darius Pridgen. Good Thank morning. Thank you for having me. Good morning yeah. to both of you. How are you? Um, I'm, I'm dealing or mm -hmm. getting there. Um, I've learned in these last in this last year when people ask me that to be honest. Yeah. Um, and I think I'm feeling what many people across the world are feeling yeah. right now. Yeah. Um, and and that is one of being grateful uh, that he is still alive, mm -hmm. um, but being saddened that. Um, he had to go through a public tragedy like he did. So I'm okay. How are you? <laughs> I know yeah. you're, you're doing the work, but that's, this is Buffalo. This is the love that we have to check on each yeah. other. Yeah. Yes. It, I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I will say that as a member of Bill's Mafia, because we all are, mm -hmm. is that we are, we are suffering together. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like you said, it was very public trauma that we witnessed. And we'll be speaking to mental health, but as a leader, in the city of Buffalo, seeing the folks and hearing from the folks who are visibly struggling and in pain together, what what is your message to the folks this morning? You know, first of all, I think that yesterday was tremendous in what I saw of people coming together. Yeah. I, watching football, I thought that this game is gonna continue and I thought it would be a tragedy for the game to continue. I was so proud of the NFL, the players, the coaches on mm -hmm. yesterday. But to our nation and to our people, hope uh, does not, hope is being able to see light in the darkness. Yeah. And so it is one of hope. It is one of seeing what happened yesterday, although embracing what happened and not denying it recognizing what happened worldwide. This divided, very divided, uh, parochial at times world said, let's call whether it was Muslim, Christian, Jew, Hindu, you name it. Everybody was calling on their source of strength publicly, yeah. mm -hmm. Twitter, yeah. at, at that moment, there was no division. There was no uh, NFL teams. It was just all people. And when you saw Bills players uh, with the opposing team and the coaches, and you looked at social media, there wasn't negativity for a moment in time. And I hope people can see that. There wasn't negativity. Now, will there be some negativity? Yeah. Sure. sure. But the, the light is overpowering the darkness right now. Yeah. That, that photo that we've all seen of all of the Buffalo Bills kneeling together. Talk about Buffalo and what that means because we have been in the headlines and once again, we are there. Talk to Buffalo. Yeah, I, I think that Buffalo, what we have to see, and we've been in the headlines, we just were in the headlines for one of the biggest storms that we've seen uh, in our lifetime. We were in headlines for the Tops Massacre. Um, we, we've been in the headlines. But what I, I hope Buffalo sees is what the world has seen of Buffalo is a resilient community. I know we've used that word over and over and one that sticks together and supports one another. We have this tragedy uh, on yesterday. We had people who were stuck in cars a few days ago. And I can remember going on, I was on social media at five in the morning with people who were saying, I'm stuck here and others on my feet going, I'm too blocks away. I'll come get you. This is Buffalo. We learn. I, I don't know why 
I don't know how we do it, but I can tell you we do it and we do it every time and we come out as better people. And so many lines in Buffalo have been erased during tragedy. So many lines of race, so many lines of neighborhoods. Nobody's talking about East Side and North Side right now or Williamsville and Cheektowaga. They're talking about a common good of how we bring our energy together, our belief systems together so that we support one another. We just just had five children who died in the fire and Buffalo is coming out so big that's what I say to Buffalo we must continue to be strong but we also must be very honest about our feelings our emotions you know the one thing that tops happened with tops is that more more and more African Americans sought mental health and spiritual counseling than probably ever so out of that tragedy, now that talking about, and I know you guys are talking about it later, talking about mental health is so important, talking about how do you have spiritual and mental health, and, and knowing that you can have them both, and you can talk about the both, and it's not one or the other, yeah. but all together. Yeah. I have to say, everything you're saying is so true. Yeah. I. We specialize in being put together. Yep. Right? You were saying that, and I, I'm on the verge of breaking down to hearing you talk, but this is a human moment. Yes. And it's beautiful, and it's sad, and it's painful at the same time. But we have come together, and I do you feel a pride, would you say, in your city, for your region, for I, I, I what really we were do. able to accomplish? Yeah. I, I, I really do, and it's the pride that says, I'm a part of a community that cares when other people hurt, and that that, those who don't care become marginalized. We don't, we, don't, we don't deal with negativity during these times. Like I've seen people shut people down during times yeah. like this. So it's one of hope. It is this season, you know, we've come out of this season of newness in a new year. But at the end of the day, I, I'm so proud when I saw people being saved. Yes, we lost some lives during the storm. I was so proud yesterday to see people utilize social media in a positive way. And I was so proud to be able to witness this season in the life of Buffalo, but see us be resilient and move forward in such a way. This station taking this much time to deal with this, that doesn't happen everywhere. You all would have been at some stations would have been on to a different topic but in the all night you all were working on making sure that this community when they turned on this channel that they got some hope that's what this is about and we have plenty of that today yeah. yes yeah. on our show this morning we're going to be talking to folks about being able to not feel helpless in moments yep. like this, yep. Yep. what you can do to prepare yourself. So we're going to be talking to someone from the American Heart Association about CPR training, and yes. I apologize, my yes. eyes won't Don't stop blinking. Don't apologize. <laughs> we're going to have, of course, Carl Shallowhorn from the Mental Health Advocates yeah. of Western New York to talk to us about our mental health. Like you said, it's yeah. very important. Yeah. And so we're just so grateful that you're here to share thank with you. us. Thank so you. thank you for thank, your time. Thank you all, and thank you to everyone here at this station for making this a priority. And, and doing more than just reporting the incident, but actually bringing hope to all of us. Thank yeah. you. And of course, our thoughts and prayers are with DeMar Hamlin yes. and his family, and, his family yes. and the Bills family Absolutely. and all of us, because yeah. we are one big family of humanity. So yeah. thank you so much again. Thank you. We will be right back. But before we go, we'd like to show you some of the prayers, the messages going out over social media in this time of unity. We'll be right back.